have nothing prepared. Um, uh, I'd like to start off by asking you, have I ever personally attacked you? <coughs> I've read emails, but I, have I ever personally attacked you? No, this, this is not really their... No. This is, um, actually, this is public comments. Okay. Yes, this is the United States of America, and okay. people can phrase their comments in many okay. ways. I have never personally attacked anyone on this council or any staff. I have never verbally assaulted anyone. I have always tried to carry myself in a very respectful and responsible way. In 2016 was the first town council meeting I ever went to, and it was about playing development at the back of the church. I then consecutively for a year went to every town council meeting, and it, it didn't take me very long to realize my position where I fell in the line with some of the politics. Um, since then, I have been to many, many meetings. I sat on the UDO committee and I have entrenched myself in trying to learn about the issues that we're facing as a community. And in my opinion, the number one thing that is the most important to the future of our community is the zoning. I've attended many zoning meetings with Dick, UDO, Red, Research, tried to understand what we're looking at. And as just a normal little local girl, what I want the people to know of Summerfield is there's two zonings that are getting ready to happen within, within this UDO that are of a concern to me and anybody who might say it's a similar platform of uh, maintaining our rural uh, nature and our overall identity. The first one is the town core um, zoning and it encompasses over 625 acres Granted, some of the schools and some of the parks and stuff will be taken out of that. But what that will allow to our community is more than doubling our density. That is over a 100% increase from what we have now. So I'm not sure why people don't think that's higher density, but we've never had that density since we were incorporated as a town. And I think it will have very detrimental effects on our town poor, neighbors, um, existing residences, and it will overburden our roads, and I'm afraid that it is um, going to create an issue for a municipal water system for them to run some, uh, water down some of the road, and I just see a lot of issues. I've also tried to educate myself on the situation um, that the residents are dealing with on Tannery Road, and, um, you know, I, I feel like we would be looking at, at more of that. They have a lot of issues. Um, water in their backyard, they're staring at, at commercial properties. Um, I spoke with a lady, she said she doesn't even feel comfortable going outside on her back porch anymore. I don't think people move to Summerfield for commercial development. Um, I don't think that's what we're after, and I think it will have a lot of bearing on our town core, our density, infrastructure, schools. Uh, as was mentioned last time, you can't even get up and down and close our road during school time. The second zoning that I feel like the people should know about and be made aware about is the OSM zoning, although I did support that. I recommended that as my UDO committee um, uh, in the final report. I did a lot of research on that, but it was also suggested from the UDO committee that there be a land use plan. To my knowledge, no land use plan has been discussed within the UDO committee. At all. And that was a big recommendation. And what that would do is alleviate the fears of the people. Most people do not want to live next to a food line, old food line shopping center size commercial. That is less than 10 acres, and any person with a 200 acre parcel would be able to put 10 acres of commercial. That's a lot of commercial. It may not be major in other places, but in Summerfield, that's pretty major commercial. I feel like it should be absolutely be kept away from residential areas. Maybe some would want to live next to that, but I seriously doubt that most would. Um, it will be you know, spread all throughout Summerfield. The existing parcels that that can happen on right now are Pleasant Ridge Road, <laughs> Carlson Dairy Road, Strawberry Road, Lake Grant Road, probably off of Scalesville. That's as much as I've been able to research that would be available for that kind of commercial um, uh, development. I don't think that's what the people want. People don't move to Summerfield for commercial development. They don't move here for high density. Um, I feel like it is absolutely the most important thing that we face as a community and I can promise you as a candidate that I will work hard for you. 
I will research, I will educate, I will do what's best for the people of Summerfield and not the special interest in this town. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Gary Brown, and uh, we have a few more.